Alright guys, I'm Gizno. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are back with some more Kamen Rider O's. We are looking at episode 10 today. Last episode was a very, very uh, interesting episode. Not only because we got to see a new combo, not only because not only because we got to meet a new member of the Kagami Foundation, but because we got to really get to know Eji uh, a lot more. Um, I'm really interested interested in his past. I'm interested in that like civil war that he was in even though it's not really connected or as far as I know it's not connected to the main plot of the core metals it is very very important uh, for Eji's character and it's definitely making me more and more interested in him so like just seeing like the regret that he has and like seeing like you know all the things that he's been through in his past I'm interested to know more of not only what happened back then but also how it affects him now uh, we did get to meet a new um, a new Kogami member his name was Dr. M Dr. Maki, I think his name was. I want to say Dr. Marco from Full Metal Alchemist, but I'm pretty sure it's Dr. Maki. Um, he seems like a very interesting character, talking about how you can only judge somebody when they meet their end. Uh, not sure I 100% agree with him, but I can understand what he means by that. And also the fact that he was the creator of the metal system, it definitely makes him a lot more interesting. And I'm interested to in see uh, more of him in the future. Uh, maybe in this episode too. Uh, we also got to see the cat combo. Looks badass. And uh, Anka now has the four blue medals, which I believe are all of the four core medals for, um, Riz uh, what's her name again? Uh, Mizul. So I wonder what's going to happen to her. I wonder if we're going to be seeing a new form. Maybe maybe we're going to see a new combo in this episode. Uh, but at the very least, hopefully we get to see like a part. We got to see uh, Edgy use at least like one of the blue medals. Because we haven't, get, we haven't seen him use one before. So I don't want to waste any more time. I'm excited to see more. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys end up enjoying this video, then you can like the video, comment, subscribe. All those things really help me out. And subscribing as you guys know when I upload next. And also sharing as well. Sharing with other Common Rider fans that want to see other, you know, reactions about Common Rider. You know, anybody who wants to see any Common Rider O's reactions. Share it with them. You know, spread the videos. It really helps me out. And I really appreciate it if you guys have already done it already. So, let's not waste any more time and get on with the episode. Oh yeah, we also have like a whole batch of shark eggs ready to hatch 10th anniversary this has been going on for 10 years oh my god look at all the cake everybody gets a cake a laboratory chief dr maki oh my god oh my god it's all going wrong <laughs> I mean, you know your boss. I, I want to know more about this guy. Why does he love birthdays so much? Infinite power supply? Is that what this guy wants? A power supply for money? I guess he is a CEO, so his plan would be that small. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Goto was like, huh, could I be a common writer then? Oh. Oh. A tiger. Or a lion. Alright. Only ends. That is true. Oh my god. It's everywhere! You guys are making it so hard to make to do reactions of all these happy birthday songs. What is all of this? Oh my god, the little puppet has a has a lab coat too. That's interesting, you work for a boss who's all about like, you know, birthdays, and you're just ready to end it. Well, he's not ready to end his life, but like, he's all about end. Oh, that scientist was a Kogami scientist. You're gonna die, you're like right up over it. Oh, this is uh this is part of the ex this is an experiment. Okay. 
Okay, I understand. I thought he was like trying to destroy like the factory. Look at that, we got four blue medals, two red medals, we're collecting them all. You just have to survive on cell medals for now. Wait, why am I feeling bad? Are you good? Why not? Why not? Why not? Exactly. He needs them because you're not always around. You're not gonna go with him? Oh my god. Hina? Uh -huh. Sure, it's not because you care about him already? That bond is growing? <laughs> Hina's like, fuck that guy. Gato, what are you doing? Not Gato, Goto. This guy's just like making bombs. Oh! Oh, look at that. No, that's a third. Oh, no, that's the second because the first one wasn't caught until the end. Don't mind me just taking my bombs. Imagine they go like, it was him, wasn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> but that was quick. <laughs> you're acting like you're inconveniencing the robot. Oh my god. Oh my god, just do it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, I love it so much. So cool. All right, Anka, it's all yours. Freaking gobble those up like like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. No, wait. Speed, quick. Speed. Speed. Oh, my God. Edgy. あ、もし明けありませんが、闇大事はもう仕事にしてもらえませんか。医療研究員のただのくんは優秀なんですが、爆弾が趣味という一面がありましてね。そこにグリードが目をつけたらしく。いや。うん。もちろん今も。おお、
Oh, damn. You're usually supposed to be a little bit more uh, uh, cautious doing that. As you just went like, Ugh. Oh no. What is that? I thought that was soap for a second. Damn, how many of these things are there? Did all of them just... All of them. All of them are just loose. Oh, nice. Damn, that's a powerful pistol. How are you going to take care of all of them? Oh my god, that's a little boy! Seven seconds! Get the hell out of here! Damn, that, that was an interesting cut they just did. You did it. You did it. You fucking did it. You saved them! This? Okay, he came back. Okay, good. Why aren't you back in the police officer's arms? And she looks pissed. <laughs> the puppet went, ah. Oh. <laughs> can't. Okay. That was serious, Eshi, right there. Damn. Okay, what does this thing do? Oh, oh god damn! Looks like I'm from Capsule Corp or something. Okay! Damn, you have to wait for him! <laughs> okay, so next time, you open those while you're on the bike. To be fair, none of us knew that. I mean, like, come on. Oh. Nice. God damn! Okay! Well, thank you! You have to tame it! You have to tame it like a wild beast! Look at him! <laughs> that crazy doctor, what did he give you? You have to earn his respect! Oh, okay, or get thrown off! This guy again? God damn! You're mugging him! <laughs> Move! Not again! Oh, you have to use. Okay. Careful. I like how each form has its own music. That makes it a lot of fun. Oh! Oh! Oh, let's go! He's standing on the bike! Nice! Okay. Get them all while they're in the air. Nice! Uh, remember, you have to give 70% to the end. Let's hope not. Let's hope he succeeds. God, what is that? Man, I can go for a glass of milk right now, I'll be honest. 
<laughs> Just eat your food. <laughs> Work on his attitude. Damn. Repeat after me. You can't escape me. All right. Well, I would I wouldn't say that Edgy is like his demons are gone after this, but I really feel like that would he he needed that. He needed that win. He needed to protect that child. He needed to stop that bomb. And I'm glad that like he was given that opportunity. I think that like that was a really good, really nice edgy story for sure. Um, and just seeing him go work through his trauma like that, I think it's really good. Really good. Got me to sympathize and connect with him a lot more. Um, I didn't write anything down for this episode. So let's hope I remember everything. Um, we got to see angry edgy as well, you know. Uh, I am. I, I had a feeling he was gonna be like you know upset uh, at the doctor, especially considering like he's just the doctor is like willing to give up all these lives, and Edgy's like like he's not about that at all. Like he he's the character that protects people. So to meet his opposite like that, he's just like I don't want to hear another word from you. And then there's something with that puppet. Like he has some kind of thing like in his head. Like the doctor, I mean, has this thing in his head where he needs the puppet to talk. And if he doesn't have it, like, he can't talk, whatever, whatever that means. Uh, we do see him, like, talking to the puppet when he's talking to other people. So that's pretty weird and interesting. And I wonder if we're going to get more on that. I have a feeling we're going to get more on him because we got to know why he's so obsessed with the end. I don't know, maybe he saw something, a vision of the future or something. Uh, why he wants it, why he, he needs to talk to this doll in order to talk to people. Like, what's going on there? Um, we got to see the Torrid Vendor. Uh, that thing in action, which it actually requires you to use the the lion combo in order for it to be used. Uh, it, it, lo it was pretty good. Very powerful. I liked it a lot. Hopefully we get to see more of it. Um, like I said, anything with that, with that, uh, cat, cat, uh, core metal. It, it's, it's an instant like for me. Um, we got to see Goto, uh, too. He didn't really, he, he did stuff, but like, it seems like he went there in, in order to like look for answers about like maybe being able to use core metals himself. Uh, but then when he got there, he got wrapped up in this whole like shark tornado, uh, like messed up scenario. So he wasn't able to actually do what he went there to do. Um, but we, it's interesting to see that like, you know, that interest in core metals. So once again, I do think he's going to be like the rival common writer. Um, and we're definitely seeing his steps towards that goal. Mizul is definitely not doing too well. She's she's definitely going through it now that she doesn't have any core medals. Um, and we didn't see Kazuri at all. Like last episode, he was sweating, but this episode we didn't even see him. So I wonder what he's up to. I wonder when we're gonna see him again. Um, definitely, I feel like he's gonna have a new plan the next time that we see him. Uh, but yeah, we got a little bit of the. Uh, I feel like we, maybe not a little bit, maybe the whole thing, but we got to see what the Kogami Foundation is like striving for, which is like infinite energy. Um, and he, there he, and, uh, and, uh, Koze Kogami is apparently like he needs the core medals in order to do that. So I, I forgot, does he need the core medals or does he just need a lot of cell medals? Uh, whatever the case, he, that's why he's in this race. It's, it seems like he's doing it just for money. Maybe there's more that we just don't know yet. But it seems like he's in, in, he's doing this whole thing just to get money uh, using that infinite energy. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see. Still, uh, even though that even though that goal is pretty lackluster, Kose is still like really, really entertaining just because like he's so high energy and I like that a lot. Uh, I'm interested to see what happens next. Love this episode. Thought it was really good for Eji. Love the visuals as well. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for more. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Tell me what you guys thought about the episode down in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys thought about my reaction. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.